When I was in middle school, getting my period was an event for all the wrong reasons. <laughs> when I would wake up, there would always be a towel waiting to greet my scarlet visitor. Each time it was a surprise because I would never ever keep track. So I would roll out of bed, wait the three seconds, and feel the damn break in my underwear. Then I would run to the bathroom, clean up, pick up and put on the one pad of the day. Yes, you heard right, one fucking pad. Because I only had three minutes between my classes, and who can pee, wipe, replace the pad in three minutes, and who wants to ask your teacher to go use the restroom when you're a damn teacher's pet and you never leave to pee, so they must know you're on your period. And they can't know that. And they can't hear the pad. And what the hell is a tampon? And for God's sakes, don't let them see the blood. Ew, not the blood, not the blood. Even if you bleed through everything, cover up, shut up, don't let them see it. Not the blood, don't let them see it. Don't let them see it. Do they see it? Then I realized no one was looking and no one really cared for all I could tell. It was my secret to deal with alone. In present day, I'm much wiser. No towels. I track my period so I know when it's coming. First day with the full moon. I'm so in sync. I bring and use multiple pads and tampons like I'm preparing for an apocalypse. Now, don't get me wrong, I don't feel joyful when my period starts. But it's become a cycle of forced rest and body awareness. And I do what feels right for me because that's what's natural. And that's kind of nice, right? Don't tell me I'm still alone in this. Let's find out. <laughs> I'm Kennedy, and I'm on my period. Are you? Are you on your period? Um, no, I'm not. No. No. <laughs> no, I'm not. Actually, I am. Me too! <laughs> uh, me too, Sinksties! <laughs> um, do you like anything about your period? No. I don't think there's anything to like about it. I think, like, the only good thing is to know, like, you're not pregnant. I like the fact that I can have an excuse to go to sleep. But I don't like the fact that I'm always um, in pain. I think it's an uh, 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 example or evidence that my body's functioning the way it's supposed to. I guess that's one thing, yeah. I also don't like the blood. I don't like that. It grosses me out in the smell. Do you do anything for self-care to take care of yourself on your period? Um, I guess sometimes I work out. I nothing really I just take Advil I eat what I can't have <laughs> and then I regret it afterwards <laughs> what type of feminine products do you use um, I love honey pot I use pads I don't use tampons I use the pads like always pads what was their education about menstruation growing up um it really wasn't much to be honest I guess for my mother but education wise it wasn't like taught in schools or anything like that. I just was told to wear a pad and that's it. And then I learned as I grew up from other girls who had periods, other people who have periods that like, you know, this happens and I get this cramp and I'm like, I get that cramp too. But um, I didn't learn a whole lot. Like I, to this day, don't know how to put on a tampon. I don't understand the place. <laughs> so very, very little learning about it. Do you have any like period horror stories that happened when you were in like middle school that you would want to share? No, except for the first time I got my period. I was wearing white shorts in summer camp, and so everyone saw, and yeah. I personally don't. I know a couple, but I don't think I should share them. Why not? Because they're don't. not mine, and they're nasty. They're nasty? Okay. Um. Okay, so <laughs> this is like when I was like, first got, I was in like seventh grade, and the teacher would not let me go to the bathroom. Raising my hand, go to the bathroom, go to the bathroom. 
she would not let me go. So in the class, I get up, pants are ruined, and yeah. <laughs> well, that was fun. <laughs> What's that? A pad? <laughs> it's a mask. <laughs> There's always so many on the ground that's so wasteful and harmful for the environment. Oh shit. Okay, we're fine. Just search a uh, period plastic waste. Yeah. It's not gonna be that bad. Oh. In a lifetime, a single person who menstruates will use somewhat between 5,000 and 15,000 pads and tampons and is expected to throw away roughly 400 pounds of period product packaging. One pad is equal to four plastic bags. What's more, plastic and non-compostable materials in period products can take up to 800 years to decompose. In the US, around 12 billion pads and 7 billion tampons are thrown out every year. Did you know that in your lifetime you're going to use probably 400 pounds of plastic use with those period products? And it's going to take like 800 years for that to decompose. What are your thoughts? That's a long time. <laughs> oh my gosh. Damn, like, <laughs> I, have to, I have to use them, you know? I just, I wish there was a, a environmentally, like, compostable, whatever. I wish there was an alternative for it, because it really does suck. Yeah, there are better alternatives, but they come with their cons as well. For example, menstrual cups. They can be used up to 12 hours and can last up to six years with proper care. A lot of people aren't aware that they exist. And reusable period underwear. Depending on your flow, you could wear this all day, and it requires simple rinsing and washing. But they can be really expensive. $45? <laughs> okay, um... So what do you think is the best decision when choosing your feminine products? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I don't know. Maybe it doesn't have to do much more choice, but like more with like production wise and how like the economy is working. I feel like period products should be free, to be honest. So I think it's more like how, how we produce and how we price things, not much how we consume them be afraid to talk to other people other girls about your period and what they use and get their um, advice and their experience and hear about their experience on that and be open to you know try new things and yeah communication is key in the period evolution once we start talking about it once we become educated we'll find more sources to better develop our experiences and to better prevent the destruction of our environment. Well, if you didn't know, I'm on my period, so I'm gonna take a nap.